we're all united in the vision no, around these principles, so we all know that we'll be progressing there. How fast we get there will depend on provincial leadership. The agreements still have to be signed between each province and the federal government, but the goal, the federal government says, is to create up to 40,000 subsidized uh, spaces at child care centres over the next three years. The funding, according to the federal government again, will focus on those who need it most, particularly low-income Canadians and Indigenous families. So what do provinces make of the framework? Joining me now is Ontario's Minister Responsible for Early Years and Child Care, Indira Naidu-Harris. Nice to see you, Minister. How, how, big, how big is this for Ontario? How significant is this? So, look, uh, this is really a historic, landmark decision. I mean, it was amazing to be in that room with all of the various ministers from across the country. It's been more than 10 years since we've all sat down and talked about child care. So, uh, being in the room and having this uh, framework being launched uh, sets a solid foundation for all of us to really move forward with a, a long-term shared vision when it comes to child care in the province. So it's very significant. It's very important. It, it seems that the federal government's focus, they want to focus on really people who have difficulty paying for child care, people, who, the poorer people, the people that don't have access to it. They're trying to get to a slice of the, the population that maybe wouldn't have child care. Is that the right focus, do you think? Is that where Ontarians need help as well? Well, their, their priorities are actually, there's a number of them, yeah. right? So they talk about affordability, they talk about accessibility, they talk about quality. Quality, they talk about flexibility and they talk about inclusion. Right. So I think it's important to uh, to realize that there that message is quite strong on a number of different levels. You know, look, I can talk to you about what we're doing in Ontario, mm -hmm. and what we're doing in Ontario is uh, we set up you know a seven list of seven priorities, and our priorities when it comes to affordable, quality, mm -hmm. accessible childcare really matches very well with the federal, okay. federal framework. So in, from my view, this is uh, it fits like a glove. It allows us to get the job done. It It is money, but it isn't a lot of money, and it's not a lot of potential spaces, particularly because you guys just announced $1.6 billion over five years, right, to create 45,000 new spots. So is it is it just a helping hand, or should it have been more if they really wanted to make a difference, given how much you guys are going to do? So Ontario has always made a strong commitment, to, or we have with this framework that came out. Uh, our Premier really felt that it was important to shine a light on those zero to four years. Mm -hmm. uh, it was identified uh, by a panel that it was very important in terms of closing the gender wage gap, mm -hmm. allowing families to reach their full potential, but absolutely setting our kids on a strong path to success and giving them a good start in mm -hmm. life. Uh, what this really does is allows us to move forward with uh, some of the work that we're doing in a very real way. I mean, these issues are about, about so many different things, so the funding absolutely is going to be key. Will you put uh, that funding inside the funding or will it be on on top of what Ontario has already promised? So the bilateral agreement hasn't been signed yet, okay. so we don't know exactly what the number okay. is and, and what we're getting and, and sort of what streams we'll be heading in, but I can tell you that it will be very important. And and when I sat in the room today and listened to the other provinces, uh, everybody in that room was very aware that the federal government was moving forward into an area that we all felt needed support, and we were so thankful that the federal government actually recognized that mm -hmm. this was an important framework to start. It actually actually sets that foundation up so that we can continue with the conversations and move towards uh you know, uh, providing quality, accessible childcare for the children in our province. People may not know, but childcare in Toronto is astronomically expensive. I think it's about 20,000 bucks a year, which is a lot more than in Manitoba, where I'm from, Quebec, obviously. What is your province doing to try and lower those costs for people? Because for some people, there's just, they may as well not work at that point because it becomes so expensive, right? Well, we, uh, we went across the province and uh, held consultations all across the province. And I can tell you, you know, that the, the, the conversation really made it very clear clear to us that the gaps and challenges that families face in Ontario really vary mm -hmm. depending on where you are. So in the north, the, the challenges are slightly different from in the sure, south, sure. but affordability and accessibility you know, was was very important. And so, you know, what we're planning on doing is ensuring that we move forward on that quickly. So, yes, $1.6 billion, bricks and mortar, you know, uh, building spaces mm -hmm. where we need to expand. Uh, in addition to that, we've moved $200 million forward. Uh, we've committed to building 24,000 childcare spaces in the next year. Uh, 16,000 of those will be subsidized. That's on top of the more than billion dollars that we are uh, committing to childcare as it is. And when I said the $200 million, that's in addition to 
mm -hmm. we're doing, 16,000 of those new spaces will be subsidized. So that's going to really affect uh, parents when it comes to affordability sure. because that's going to be going straight into subsidies and it's going to allow more parents to be able to access care. And it will absolutely impact on low and income families okay. uh, and middle income yeah. families. Okay. Minister, good to see you. Good to meet you in person. Thank you. Great to be here. Thank you.